The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Timber Born with me, JD. Now, today, today, today we have one mission. One mission and that is all the way over in this corner to blow our way through a mountain. Do I hear music? Do I hear music? I think I hear music. After many, many, many explosions, I guess we should talk through the last 10 days or so and what's happened. <gasps> oh boy. Um, okay, Madame District. Madame District, pretty boring, uh, but due to some explosions up in this area, we've put down two extra farms and they're planting nothing but potatoes because potatoes is the one food we're short on. Uh, next up, Double Dam. Double Dam has been planting explosives. We haven't set these explosives off yet because I'm still waiting for the last explosives to go in. There's still some things to do. Oh, and I also need to remove... Nope, I need to get the back row of explosives in, then remove the paths and apply more explosives. Double Dam still has some work to do. Uh, next is Crater Lake. Crater Lake is untouched. The only thing they are doing is they're helping out with more explosives. Uh, yes. Uh, can we remove those two bits of paths? and put in more explosives uh which brings us up to this temporary not quite there yet district um this district is not built yet because i'm waiting for well uh uh the music to stop and the last five bit of metal in this ruins to disappear and then we're going to set up a new district which we will come back to uh next is gonna be district nine district nine District 9, our slave labored slums district, is actually doing surprisingly well. Uh, they actually have too much wheat. Way too much wheat. Uh, way, way, way too much wheat. I don't know how. They also have some potatoes. Again, I don't know how, because they shouldn't have potatoes, but they have potatoes. Uh, so I need to put in somebody to cook off the 60 odd potatoes that we have in storage. And they're finally positive on food. Again, I'm not sure how, but they're positive on food. I have had to add just a few grist mills. Um, yeah, but we have too much wheat. So I actually need more grist mills. 
Uh, by the same token, we are down to just a few bits of scrap metal left. And uh, leg day, the leg day champions are going well. I have no idea how much beaver power this is now. We're up to 235 power wheels with a few more to go in after this metal disappears. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's, it's ridiculous amounts. Um, so they're doing great. Uh, next up we have Feeder District. Feeder District is boring. It, it does nothing. It was set up a long time ago and we basically ignore it. There is a couple of trees here that are unfortunately going to die off and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. That's pretty much it. And then the Industrial Beevolution. The Industrial Beevolution is up. Um, I've actually unpaused all the buildings. We have 16 unemployed beavers. I am trying to get these printing presses done, but... Do, 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 1500 scrap and we're just not processing into metal blocks fast enough. I don't want to speed that up. We'll, we'll get there. Um, potentially that is 700 metal blocks. So it is a good amount of metal. We're just, we're just going to process it slowly because once this is gone, the next source of metal is, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there, which possibly with a lot of scaffolding, the feeder district could reach and, uh, all the way up there, which I honestly doubt the new district to, could reach. I think that's going to be far too far away. Uh, but yeah, Industrial Revolution is going great. I did add a whole bunch, like a lot, of hauling outposts. Um, because they're going to need a lot of materials moved around. So I figured, why not? Um, but yeah, we're going to set up... I'm going to get rid of that view because I hate that view. We have... Oh my god, they're finished. Scrap metal full. Uh, no, let's turn you back on. Let's delete you. Delete you. Delete you. Uh, set up our explosives in there and explosives in there. Um, because that has two layers I need to delete, so it's going to take a minute. At the same time, I do want to set up this new district. Now, this new district is already pre-set up in some fashion. Um, the main district can reach part of this, so I've actually had them pre-build the housing and the storage and all that sort of stuff. Also a drop-off point, which already has explosive gears and logs and planks and some water. So they have some things to start them off. And I need uh, a new district center, which I'm going to put here. No, we're going to put it here. And the important question is, yes, you can reach all the way that way. And after these stairs are done, you should be able to reach it that way. So, uh, we need to set you to four workers. And then I need to find some idle beavers. And we're going to call you the hills. Because why not? Alright, so we have 15 beavers heading across. That's all I can actually spare between all the other districts. Uh, hopefully, priorities-wise, we're going to get stairs to done. Uh, then, obviously, deep water pump and a farm. So we can actually start farming our own food. Oh, that's probably high priority as well because there's two bits of trees out here and a few trees up here. I have no idea if that one lumberjack flag can reach all that. Uh, we'll prioritize that one as well. Uh, they have no wood. No, there is nine logs in stock. 189 logs. Never mind. No, never mind. There's plenty of logs in stock, so hopefully they get up and get everything built. Uh, you are now done. And of course, it's nightfall already. So, I think we'll start off tomorrow with more explosives. Yes, explosives. Alright, we have our stairs into the hilly district, or hills district. So that should let the lumberjack flags get done, which should let us chop down the pine. Yeah, it's all pine. Uh, at the same time, we have these explosives in, so, you know, we should definitely blow them up. Uh, that's going to deepen the canal, and then... Is that right? Yeah, that should... Eh. Eh, I'm... Eh, 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 eh. 
I'm sort of expecting some flooding in our not too distant future. Uh, at this, ooh, do never click that mode. Uh, at the same time, we can plant more, more maple. More, more maple is always good. And we can come over here to our main objective for this episode, which is knock out this corner. That was the important corner. We desperately had to knock it out. Oh, by the way, uh, we have started planting all the maples everywhere. Uh, as I said, this is another feeder district, so it's going to be planting a lot of trees that then the 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 industrial beevolution district can then harvest uh mark all that for cutting please uh and then finally after blowing up half a mountain we should be able to knock out this corner which should hopefully not be horrible for us so it should let the water through which is now going to, hang on, let's just pause. It's going to let the water, rather than flow through our canal, bypass, go all the way around, feed uh, the feeder district with water, feed the industrial beevolution district with water, and hopefully, if all goes well, feed... Did I knock out the end? Oh my god, I did not knock out the end. Quick, quick, quick. Super high priority. I have no idea if it'll flood or bad things will happen, but, uh... Uh... Ooh. Oh. Um... I might have blown up too much ground. Yeah! because yeah, that's a height of two and that's a height of not two I have a feeling this whole area is about to flood I might need a levee wall all the way along here like so um yeah that's what I was expecting. That might have been a small oversight. Uh, okay. So, for the meantime, we're going to put in a double floodgate right there. And then we're going to have to work out how to fix this problem. Uh, can we max out the party on you, please? So, if I was to build levees to there, and to there, we could then... Mark resources for demolition. Yes. Okay, hang on. Alright. That explosive is not needed for right now. We want to put in one of them. Uh, we want to ignore the flooding. Um, Solutions, Jetty. Solutions. Alright. If we were to add more explosives uh, all the way along there, <sighs> remove the path. Here I was thinking water flows downhill. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Water flows till it's flat and level. And the problem is, once it was level, it was then um 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 gonna flood. Okay, mark resources for demolition. I need that gone away and that gone away. And you two will have to go away as well. Yeah. 
Yes. So what we're going to have to do... Uh, levy. Levy to there, levy to there. Sure, going to leave that there for the moment so you guys can actually build things. We're going to have to... Anybody want to build this? Zero. Oh, that's flooded. Oh. Um, okay, okay. And all right, there are solutions. There are solutions. We're going to build a levy. Okay, Industrial Evolution can build that levee. That'll stop the flooding. That'll let us go back and fix this problem. And at the same time, what we have to do is we're going to have to... Stairs... Path... Uh, it's actually easier if I remove those trees. Which... Oh no, somebody can get up there already to harvest that. And then... Put in a path all along there, and then put explosives all along there. And I'm going to need a levee, a levee, a levee, and a dam? Yeah, I'm going to need a dam at the end. So I have to put a dam in here to, to drop the water out gracefully, gracefully, rather than this mess. Okay. All right. That went well. Uh, okay. So once this district has unflooded, you still have 15 beavers. That's good. At least your houses are not flooded. You just can't go to work. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, we can at least get rid of that. Uh, same time, we can knock off the next level. Uh, I hope we can reach the far side of that. Nope. Uh, I need to come in two times. One, two. Yep, they can now reach that from the outside and that from the inside. Uh, we're going to prioritize that. Not super high priority, because the, the, the levy in the corner is the super high priority job. Uh, I'm going to skip forward until the levy's done. Yeah. Okay, there's a drought incoming. That's just what we needed. Um, yeah, our previous problem's not fixed. I want to deepen the lake now. So, the good news is, we haven't had nearly enough explosions for this episode. The game does not like rendering that little smoke, uh, which has lowered the lake by nothing. First things first, we have our floodgate in. We're going to set that to a height of one. Uh, the water level obviously back here is not a height of one already, so we're going to remove that levee. And then we can use that floodgate to manipulate things. If we get both these levees done we should be able to open up and at least bring water to here which means hopefully you know the pump works uh that'd be a nice start uh also means we could probably actually start planting some of these carrots which would also be super helpful uh six out of twelve four out of twelve excellent we're getting there slowly because yes, I definitely like to have that up and running before the drought season kicks in. Uh, another thing I do need to check is... So, in District 9, we had two water dumps. And I actually left them running. And they weren't actually... Because we're not actually pumping the water out of this canal anymore, 
we're actually ending up very, very positive on water. It's actually flowing over the floodgate. But it meant we're pumping water down here to literally bring it upstream and then drop it back in for it to flood out the other end. So I paused them, hoping we'd fill up some more tanks. We're not really filling up like these ones that are close are getting filled up. These that are further away, not so much, funnily enough. Uh, and our wheat numbers are still going up. Our flour is also going up. We have a thousand bread. Whoa. I think this is the first time in forever where the district's just hungry for the district to be hungry. You know, they have worked an 18 hour day because I'm not a kind overlord. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the first time that they're not on the brink of starving in a long time. A very, very long time. Oh, a side note, side note. Uh, these guys are meant to be shipping out just the, the, the scrap metal. We have 1,200 scrap metal here. They're really, really, really bad at shipping out scrap metal. And... Yeah, you're carrying berries. Yeah. I, I, I've spent some time looking at them, and they are absolutely horrible at shipping stuff out. And they have... This one, which has 70 scrap metal, and this one, which has 150 scrap metal. Uh, we'll, we'll click prioritize. Oh, it was already prioritized. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're not very good at clearing out the scrap metal. And the main district has 600 scrap metal. Oh, speaking of scrap metal. Uh, nope, nope. We're still waiting on 120 gears. Yeah, the main district makes a lot of gears, but ships out a lot more gears. Uh... Gear production is at zero. Yeah, I should probably look at that. Okay, first things first. We can finally demolish that layer and remove that uh, one of the stairs. Which now brings this whole area down to level. Which is one of the things that I really wanted to get done. Uh, we can also set that all to maple. Remove that one path. Drop a maple tree in there as well. Also, uh, side note, this project is done. So, if I've done this correctly, we should be able to detonate you, which should give us a path. Down to here. Okay, and then if I go to this floodgate, and I set it to zero, that should let water in, which should greenify this whole area, which is super important. At the same time, I need more beavers. Yes, so need more beavers. Oh, distribution post. Pause. We're not shipping anything anywhere. Don't build, don't have beavers in there. Right, can I prioritize you, please? All right, should bring water down here. Okay. I, I didn't get a chance to plant berries in the uh, trough, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it should give us a little pool of water here because it's one tile deeper, which is always a bonus. And then, hopefully, 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 we shouldn't have any overflowing or spilling. Come on. Come on, water. Game speed 2. And the game instantly pauses. Yeah, the game does not like me. Okay, so this should come through to the end. Stop at the dam. Yeah. Fill up. And then... It's a really bad animation. But spill out. And because this is a higher point, it should then force more water out here. Which also means... I should finally... Be able to max you out. I'll leave one open. But because you're forced to max, it should mean that all the water now goes this way. And goes all the way around. And then out here. It also means uh, I want you to prioritize... Damn, you can't plant, plant far enough along. Uh, can I put in... A temporary ladder. Uh, right here, please. Alright, 
so this is going to be another feeder district. It's one objective is to make sure that the uh, main district, the, the industrial bevolution district, uh, has all the resources uh, it needs. Now, there's a couple of things with industrial bevolution. I did mention that we're going to have a little gray area here in the middle, but that should be fine. Uh, the other thing I want to do is, hang on, I'm going to demolish uh, that. Bevolution, uh, planting, planting, and can I get max priority on that, please? And we're gonna, oh, actually, Bevolution has uh, resources and idle beavers, so, or at least has the potential of, oh no, you actually have idle beavers, excellent. Uh, so we're going to have them help plant and we're gonna have like a significant amount of planting. Uh, can I, I do have a path from there. Okay, what I wanna do is I wanna remove that and put a path straight through there. And food wise, less than ideal. Okay, so we're also gonna have to do something more about food in the Bevolution district. In fact, we're probably gonna have to double it twice. Well, remember how we set those floodgates to level three? It turns out that was slightly too high. Just slightly. Uh, so we're gonna have to come back to here and to manage the flow, I'm gonna drop you to one and a half as well. Hopefully, oh, you're also set to two. Okay. Let's go with synchronize two. Unsync you. All right, so we have th three floodgates at height two, which does mean that all of this power that we have in our canal should be dead. In saying that, we have 1800, 1800 power and a whole flooded district, just entirely flooded. Oh, I need to unpause all these because uh, yes, uh, industrial revolution is still having a problem with getting wood in. It's very good at processing it, uh, but unfortunately, due to not having the next district up and running yet, um, it was suffering with, yeah, not a great time. Blueberry. Really? You still can't reach that last hole? I hope you go plant that last hole. Uh, okay, and then maple from there to basically there. Oh, no, hang on. There uh, to there. I'm going to stop flooding anytime now. Anytime. Yes, yeah, stop. You are running. Yeah, you are running. You are draining perfectly fine. How wide is this choke point here? So this is only a two tile width. I do admit, I'm trying to choke it down to one tile, but you know, I thought it'd be okay. Plus we have three tiles draining here. All right, let's sync you up as well. We only need to have one tile, one gate that's fully down. Let's unsync you. Let's raise you all the way back up. Let's go to the far side and drop you to zero. Okay, watch the water bounce up and down and get so confused. Oh my god, it's still spreading. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the bottom warehouse that's paused. Okay. And the one in the lake, yes. Okay, so now the other three floodgates are not draining. It's still blowing the banks here at the corner. Yeah, it's a little bit of flooding. Drought started. Ah! There's a few flooded buildings, but I'm actually really happy to see a drought for a change. 
boy does that dry up everything in a hurry. Okay, so with the drought started uh, and the ground dry again, again, we have seven days, seven day drought. Our pumping stations are working correctly. Our dam is working correctly. Our levee system seems to be running. Okay, but I'm not happy with you at height zero because that is draining so fast. Height 1.5. So 1.5 is one and a half tiles here, which means half a tile at this height. This is still all half a tile, all the way down to there, which is half a tile, which means it should stop draining. Should. I'm gonna drown 2200 beaver power, wow. Okay, uh, we obviously have some hungry beavers because nobody was farming anything because everything was flooded. Uh, it doesn't also change the fact that I actually need to plant in some extra carrots. Hmm. Okay, we need to run that into there. Uh, also need to work out how we can better maximize our green area okay uh we don't need that hauling outpost or that builder's hut uh they've been replaced with ones built in uh different areas that carry less greenery all right some general tweaks have been done i'm a little bit happier i think actually i need one more farmhouse in here in the brown zone uh just to really really harvest all the carrot i think we're actually gonna have to swap over to wheat in fact i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to swap over to wheat which is okay because we have drive trains on drive trains in fact actually let's start setting that up uh let's go with platforms uh okay so one two three yeah and then food grist mill one, two, three. Three is such an odd number. I should build four. I don't know whether I actually have enough to operate four, utilize four. Uh, but we'll build four anyway. At the same time, we'll fill that in so I can put in two bakeries. It, that's generally the ratio. It's generally one grist mill to uh, two grist mills to one bakery. It does mean that I'm going to have to... Uh, okay, so what we do is we just clear... That much. That much. Now you and you and you are potentially under... No, that's got to be at least 14 tiles out. Okay, so you're probably not under greenery. Uh, I have to put in some wheat there and schedule this up to be wheat as soon as it's uh, gone through a harvesting process. I have dumped foresters everywhere because the sooner we can get this all planted, the sooner we can harvest it. So, you know, mass foresters it is. Uh, in fact, I'm actually thinking about dumping in some more. We are putting explosives around the back of this just because I thought I'd have more greenery area here and it just turns out I don't. So if we knock the tiles down by one, we should get more green area. Potentially two tiles to get even more. Yeah, really not sure about that one. Uh, and as for further up river, I shouldn't be running these explosives right at the moment. But we're going to, we're going to demolish that and demolish that. Which basically finishes this off. Now, don't get me wrong. There's definitely. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to knock it down another level? I like explosives. What can I say? I like explosives. Okay, with those explosives planted in, and we're actually going to drop the priority on that whole area to. Well, as low as possible, because it's really not important, uh, apart from that one lot of stairs. Uh, I actually found out that we had other explosives that I didn't know were here. 
So we're gonna knock those down. Like I said, I do need to drop the, the river level here a little bit. Um, has that changed our planning area at all? It shouldn't. Ooh, it has. Ooh. Uh, plenty. More. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, which also means I have to bring up this dreaded overlay. Okay, so we've got more planting to do, uh, more explosives to lay. We'll, we'll get that blown up eventually. We've got a couple of days. I think we're just going to skip through to the end of the drought or sometime past there. Flooding's under control. Levees are under control. Food is not under control, but, you know, we're, 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 we're literally waiting on beavers to harvest things. Uh, why is that all brown? Because you guys planted that during a flood. Yeah, it's not flooded at all times, so... Yeah. Yeah, and we have a whole bunch of planting to do, and more explosives, because... Explosives. Alright, we're coming up on halfway through the drought, and we're at water level 2. Which we're about to drop down to 1.5. Um, because I need to get this down to water level 1 before the end of the drought. Uh, at the same time, we've got more explosives we can set off. So, of course, I'm gonna set off more explosives. Uh, we are also gonna drop that down and set up another wave of explosives because why not? Um, it, it really seems by the time you get to like end game and you can just have explosives for the sake of explosives, you just terraform the land for no particular reason apart from you want to. Um, so obviously a lot of planting to do in here after. After, after, after. Uh, after we get the water level low enough, we can actually get in and start planting again. At the same time, yeah, the beavers are out planting off more explosives in this new area. We, turns out we have food not being harvested fast enough. You guys just maxed... Oh, you have 1,400 berries. Uh, you know what? I could do with some extra beavers. So, we're going to unpause you guys. Uh, yeah, we, we have beavers on beavers. No, berries on berries on berries. Uh, District 9 is 2,000 wheat and counting. 150 flour, 1,200 bread. We're, we're, we're finally at a point where we're thoroughly positive on food. Like... I don't even have to worry about food in District 9 with the 500 beavers. Uh, we do have one little bit of metal. Seven. Seven ruins. Seven ruined metal to go. Uh, which means, you know what? I'm going to add in these power wheels. They're not going to be hooked up to the main network. Which means any beaver labor on them is going to be absolutely wasted. But I'm going to build them now anyway. Uh, we... Oh, I have a dry area. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we, there we are, um, we have almost finished planting maple everywhere. On top of that, I was planting wheat in here, and then, um, the water level dropped. Just after it started being planted, and I didn't notice for half a day, and it dried out instantly. So I decided carrots. Carrots are great. Uh, on top of that, I realized we have this whole area over here where I could and am going to be planting more carrots, because carrots. Carrots are the easy crop. Uh, turns out you guys can't reach any further that way. Uh, you know what? If I remove that, and I put in a farmhouse, you can reach all that. I do have uh, one bakery, two grist mills already built, so I decided, if we just knock a hole, uh, and knock a hole, and knock a hole, and a hole, and a hole. Just so we have some spots that have a little bit deeper water, it should mean that parts can't dry out anymore. Um, or at least if they go to dry out, there should be a little bit of a safety net. So what I'm going to do is... Yeah... 
we, we are going to plant some wheat. Um, we're definitely going to go heavy on the carrots, because uh, carrots are life. But we are definitely going to start planting some wheat at least. Alright, so we have two days left on the drought. And as we can see, the water level is still a little bit too high here. And actually it might have a problem, because we've dammed everything further down river. I don't know if I can actually get the water level in here low enough now. Like, it's it's getting pretty low. Yeah, it's still not quite low enough that, that our beavers are out planting yet. Um, but, you know, more explosives might help. That should lower the water level. If the water decides to move at all. Okay. That's a first. Um, yeah, so I have explosives, so I'm making the best of them. Just, you know, removing... Oh, there we go. There we go. Water level finally dries up. Okay, so water level's drying up. Uh, means we can get out here and start planting all these trees once again. Uh, the beavers are going to be very, very busy beavers. Uh, also means that the stuff on the higher plateaus uh, goes into drought season, which should be okay. Ah, uh, carrots. Yeah, don't think about the carrots. Yeah, it's probably okay. Probably okay. Um, so, uh, Double Dam. Double Dam is going to go through a whole planting cycle again. Um, yeah, I still don't want to blow that up. Uh, seems like a bit of a waste to put the explosives down and then not blow them up. Uh, the next district we need to go chat about is going to be, of course, the Industrial Bee Evolution. Uh, they have got all the planting of the maple done. It's going to take a while for that stuff to ripen, mature. Mature is the word I'm looking for. Mature into fully grown trees. But once it does, that should settle their wood problem. They basically have a zero log issue. Um, they never, ever, ever have any free logs. Uh, the feeder district has its one lumberjack who has filled up the storage and now just sits around doing nothing forever. Um, we don't burn logs in this district at all. We don't, we don't cook with them. We don't do anything with them. So he has the easiest job in life and just basically becomes a, a hauling beaver. Uh, occasionally he has to do something when we go and build or help build in the neighboring district. But generally he does a whole lot of nothing. Um, so yeah, uh, Industrial Beavolution, like I said, is doing great. In fact, they already have two monuments because I decided why not. Uh, Crater Lake also doing great. Crater Lake is like... Build your district. Build your district in the middle of a lake. Like, like, let me tell you, it took a while to get the infrastructure up and running, but once you build in the middle of a lake, you never have to worry about it. And why do we have wheels moving? No idea. Okay, um, as for district number nine. District number nine is, or has mined out, all of the metal they are finally getting up there last the very very last that probably should have a higher priority so it doesn't get built in yes uh they are building their very very last beaver wheels uh, and providing so much power into the network it also side note means once they're fully done i can actually remove these builder builder huts because we have a number of builder builder huts 24 beavers on just building huts um a little bit insane. A little bit insane. Uh, but food-wise, they're great. They're actually so good we could actually start shipping out wood. Uh, wood. Shipping out food. Um, the main district, um, I have explosives, so I decided, you know what? If I just remove a layer here, a layer, we can't do anything with that layer. But if I put in three, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, if I put in more explosives, we should uh, be able to drop this low enough that I can actually plant on the grounds. Not, not that I really need the planting area, but, you know, why not? Uh, at the same time, they are building in a couple of carousels. Uh, because we can, um, because extra fun, extra fun for the sake of fun. 
because we've really re reached late game. In fact, I don't think there's much left for me to do in this current Let's Play. We're up to 1200 beavers, stable. Uh, we have storage for everything, including, like, even though I turned off. Well, let's just talk about how many plank machines I turned off. I still have 900 planks. I, I, I went and made four extra explosive machines. Four? One, two, three, four, five, five, five extra explosive machines. <sighs> And we've been running demolition non-stop. I have 400 explosives in this district alone. A thousand in the whole map. I just can't spend the explosives fast enough. I can't get rid of the planks either in this district at all. Like it, It's just full of planks at all times. Uh, side note, did you... You have shipped over some metal. Not a lot of metal. You have 100 and you have 35. Okay. We're slowly getting rid of the scrap metal and turning it into metal blocks. Um, but yeah, I, I think we just need to jump to the end of the drought and see how far we get. Alright, so the drought ends and we're going to celebrate with, well, explosions. Which is going to instantly lead to uh, plant more food. Because why not? Uh, that seems to be the carrot side, that seems to be the tater side, uh, cool, that's that problem sorted. Uh, further up river we have laid in just, just a few explosives, can I blow up that? Yeah I can actually. Yeah, the beavers can still access everything that remains unexploded, cool. Uh, which is going to drop the water level a little bit more. I need to try and keep the water level low. Uh, just so we can get in and get most of this planting done. As you can see, a good portion of it's done. But there's there's always more planting to be done. Um, really? One. You're annoying. You're annoying, Pine Tree. Okay, um, yeah, there, there, there's more planting to be done. There's more explosives to be done. There's 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 a lot more to be done. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, Industrial Revolution's going fine. That's all being planted. Ah, explosives. That's right. I knew I had some more explosives somewhere. Which, by lowering this down, should just give us... An extra couple more tiles for carrots. Not that the Hills District actually probably needs the food, because, let's be honest, it's a pretty tiny district with 30 adults, housing for 48. They're, they're, they're not really doing a lot. Um, if I turn on the distribution post, they could do something. What they'd ship out, I don't know. Um, technically, they have one lumberjack in the whole area who does a whole lot of nothing. Potentially, they could ship out carrots, of all things. Um, actually, worse than that, we have two lots of builder huts that are probably going to be idle now, because they have nothing to do. Uh, yeah, which pretty much brings us to, like, you know, the end of the series. I've done everything I can in Timberborn, um, at least in, in, in this map. I, I, I'd love to play a hard difficulty map. Um, the only thing that I can really do is give the beavers a shorter work day. And if we come to the Madame District and bring up the stats, we can see that I have level 14 out of level 15 beavers. If they go some, spend some time on some carousels and at some temples... And mm, actually, you know, social life's probably mostly done. Um, I could have level 15 beavers, but what does level 15 beavers get me? Not a whole lot, you know? They, they, they got to spend some time on the carousel. That's that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to be calling this series here. Like, I, I, I really want to start on a hard... Actually, I really like that monument. With the drivetrain and the gears up the back. I don't know what this wooden pipe looking thing is at the back. And efficiency 80%. Why 80%? Oh wow, our demand's gone up to 1300. Dude, we've been adding some... 
adding some construction. Okay, you were a little bit worrying. You you were gonna give children nightmares. Um, nobody wants to use my carousel. Oh my god, that! Oh oh, it's the end of our twelve-hour day. That's right. Yeah, so these are only gonna work during. They work for the children in all seasons because the children are idle during the day and they can ride it. But the adult beavers can't run the carousels. The adult beavers can't get on the carousels until after work. And after work there's no power. Because their wheels are not running. Because the river just started back up. Yeah, that's a flaw. Okay. Yeah. So apart from my carousels... Sort of working. Hmm. Are, you, are you are you getting your fun? Oh, even with it barely moving, they're getting their fun. Wow, that's not bad. Okay, well, in theory, if I waited long enough, uh, we would max out our beavers. Well, actually, it's moved up a significant way already. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this series here. It's been a lot of fun. I've learnt a lot playing with the Iron Teeth on this particular map, but I really, really, really want to start again. I want to play with the Folk Tales more because I feel like they're a little bit more fleshed out, and I'd really, really like to play on a hard map. So there's a particular custom map I've been looking at. We're going to start a brand new series probably in a day, day or two time, day or two's time. Um, and we're going to do a hard series on a custom map because the maps that come with the game already, eh, but the, the, some of the custom maps look very, very interesting. At the same time, if you're interested in this particular save, um, I'll put a link up my Discord. Well, I'll put a link in the description to my Discord. You can go over to my Discord and grab uh, this save because it turns out the saves for Timberboard are actually fairly tiny compared to a lot of other games so saves there if you guys want to grab it it's open for everybody uh, i do hope you've enjoyed this series i do hope to see you guys in the hard playthrough that should be starting eh. um like i said in a day or two anyway i'm gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video that hopefully didn't take over four hours to record because with how many beavers running around the map 1200 beavers uh, the game's not exactly running super smooth and side note that's a level 16 beaver which i'm pretty sure maxes them out i don't know the max used to be 15 i've got 16 so who knows anyway i'm gonna leave it here thank you guys for watching as i said i'll see you guys in the very next video all right bye